If you feel like you open up your wardrobe, there's loads of clothes in there, but you have nothing to wear, this is the video for you. I upload every single Sunday, so I'd love it if you subscribe to get new content, and please do comment below so that I can get to know you. Today's video is a follow-up to a really popular video I did back in the summer, my 10 by 10 wardrobe challenge. It is also a collaboration with Jennifer from mamafurfur.com, and she is going to be doing the 10 by 10 challenge, while I am going a step further to do the 20 by 20 challenge. I'll send you over to her now so she can tell you a little bit more about herself. Hi there, my name is Jennifer from mamafurfur.com. It's the home of smarter saving, smarter spending and smarter living strategies. I am so excited today to be collabing with Katie. I am going to be doing her classic 10 by 10 challenge. So that means I'm going to give myself 10 items to wear for the next 10 days. This is something that Katie is so passionate about and I know you're going to enjoy her video right now but once you finish with her video hop on over to my channel and I hope you enjoy seeing how I got on. So while Jennifer is doing the 10 by 10 I'm taking it the next step and doing the 20 by 20 which is the next step on the road to getting to 30 by 30 which is apparently what everyone needs in their capsule wardrobe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the 20 items that I'm going to be wearing and then it will just become like a diary every day I'll show you what I'm wearing so you can see how the 20 items pan out over those 20 days. I found the 10 by 10 quite challenging because 10 items is really limiting but it is well worth giving it a go so head over to Jennifer if you haven't tried the 10 by 10 or if you tried it with me already in the summer then have a go at the 20 by 20 with me now. So starting off with tops, obviously the time of year it's gonna lend itself more to jumpers, so I've only got one t-shirt. This is actually outfit number one, I'll show you that at the end, um, but yeah I've got mostly jumpers. So item number one is a polo neck, is it a polo neck? Uh, jumper and it's just a, a creamy, I think it's cream not white, um, a cream polo neck. Item number two is a grey roll neck. Item number three hasn't been ironed yet but it is a white shirt, just a plain shirt. It doesn't do all the way up to the top, it's just like a v-neck buttoning from about there. Um, just a plain white shirt. I'm a huge fan of shirts so item number four is a blue shirt. It's a nice soft quite a relaxed cotton so it's quite floaty more a blouse than a shirt really I'd say um, in a nice blue color and item number five same as the cream one just in black is a black polo neck jumper all of them are back to front inside out unwrinkled but that's fine so that's my tops next is bottoms first up so this item number six is a pair of black crop trousers so they're quite smart i do like a smart look um a tailored look i suppose so they will be ironed down the front um and they're crop trousers item number seven are my black jeans which hopefully are going to fit me i have gained a bit of weight over christmas i haven't actually worn these yet but you know if i eat sensibly between now and day whatever hopefully they'll fit me so black jeans go with everything and the same blue jeans. I'm hoping these have got a little bit more give in them, these ones, but so a dark blue jean. And then the final thing in my bottoms is a, is it like dog tooth? I'm not, I'm never really sure on my, my teeth. Uh, like a checked mini skirt, um, which I will wear with tights. Accessories like scarves, tights and things like that don't count within the challenge. So yeah, so I can dress this up with tights, no problem. So that's the bottoms. The next thing is a dress. I think in my 10 by 10 challenge, I had a few dresses. This time I'm just going for one. And I'm just gonna use it in a variety of different ways. And it's like a, like a vest top, 
uh, and it's the same sort of ribbed material as you get um, in your vest tops but it's just a dress and it's midi length as well which I, I just really like it um, and this is quite good as a staple piece because obviously I could wear this on its own in the summer but I can layer it up with a jumper or a cardigan in the winter and that's absolutely fine so that is item number 10 almost forgot I was thinking I have only got to number 10 but actually I have got another top and a bottom and that's what I'm wearing so I'm going to visit my mother this afternoon so I thought this was quite appropriate um so a black t-shirt I don't actually have any plain black t-shirts so this one's gonna have to do I do like a slogan tee anyway so that's fine and then my bottoms just a checked midi length paper bag style skirt so that's items 11 and 12 which is much more in line with where I should be right now next up is coats I don't think I included coats in my 10 by 10 because it was quite uh, warm at the time but I've had to include them this time saying that you can make up your own rules so if you want to have more tops more bottoms and don't include coats and just use them with the accessory side of things that's absolutely fine too I'm harsh on myself so I'm including coats so I've got a brown like a camel I don't even I have no idea what sort of coat this is just a wool coat it's not real wool so but you know the style I mean just like single breasted wool faux wool coat it might be real wool I, I have no idea so a brown one I've also got a leather jacket again it's not real leather one day I will be able to afford real leather there we go leather jacket and something I wear all the time is just it looks like a dressing gown but I love it it's a black dressing gown style it's got a, a belt uh coat it's a black coat there's nothing more I can say about that so what's that 12 13 14 15 I'm missing something my cardigan technically not a coat but I will wear it like a coat so if I'm just popping out rather than out out I will just wear a cardigan instead of coat and I love this it's all fuzzy and furry um and it's quite long so and it's got big pockets I do love pockets so that is a, a handy cardigan and that brings me on to the last bit which is shoes pair number one are a loafer style with a little bit of sparkle on them pair number two are polar opposites to that they are my scruffy converse if you know whether you can put these in the wash can you let me know because I have no idea and they're so grimy I'm hoping they can be washed rather than having to buy new ones but yeah converse trusty old converse a pair number two pair number three are my black like ankle boots i suppose they are a little bit taller than ankle boots biker boots and then my final item item number 20 my fourth pair of shoes are knee high brown boots so they're my 20 items and they've got to last me for the next 20 days. I will show you day by day how each look looks and we'll see at the end how I got on.
so I finished my 20 days. Um, how did I find it? It was easier than the 10 by 10 purely because there were more options. I had more outfits for variation, so I didn't get bored. Um, but what I have realized is there are certain items of clothing in my wardrobe that I just don't like. Um, so it's quite a good experiment. If you think, mm, do I love this thing? Try wearing it quite often and it will probably, you'll realize you don't like it. So the gray, polo jumper uh, like roll neck jumper I don't like that it's got weird splits at the side um one like the front is shorter than the back um I can't tuck it in very easily it's quite thin um and it just doesn't make me feel good so that's off to charity um my white shirt um it's quite uh, fitted it's a fitted shirt and it's quite short I've got quite a long uh, main part of my body um, and it was quite short so again it was difficult to tuck in um, and because it was quite fitted I just I felt I felt exposed I don't know whereas like this shirt I really really love this I'd wear it every day if I could it's it's floaty it's long enough to be tucked in it just makes you feel good um, and then the other thing was the short skirt, the mini skirt, not against mini skirts, um, but that one in particular, I just, I didn't feel like it went particularly well with the things that I paired it with and I just didn't, I didn't feel good in it. Um, so I can't say I'm going to run out and replace it with a different mini skirt, I don't really, I, I felt quite cute in it, um, but just not that one. If I happen to come across another type of mini skirt and try it on, think, yeah, do you know what? This looks great. Fine, I'll replace it. But I'm I'm not in a hurry. I've got plenty of like midi length skirts um, that that are fine. So yeah, it, it was an interesting experiment. Definitely can cope with that fewer items of clothing. 20 days is a long time to have a, a repeat cycle. I could start again now, um, just swapping out those three items that I just didn't like. Um, yeah, I love it. I, I'm definitely gonna do another 20 by 20 with my summer items. And then I'll probably do an autumn 30 by 30, which <laughs> is gonna boggle my brain having uh, to do that. But apparently 30 items is all you need so we'll see about that don't forget to pop over to jennifer's video to see how she got on with her 10 by 10 and i will see you again soon with another upload bye